It was okay. fine, yeah. yeah. Okay. We, team bonding. We were going through the airport, we made it, we made it on our flight, we were just happy to get home. Uh, but it was it was a really good road trip. It went a lot faster. I think it was because we, we played the game, we traveled, played a game, traveled, and so it was really quick. Uh, but I think we handled it, handled it well and we were able to, to continue to build onto our foundation. What are some things that to you? Um, I think hopefully um, if you were to watch our games you could see offensively we were getting more into a rhythm. Um, in the first couple games of the season we were getting out-rebounded. I think we were still getting out-rebounded um, throughout the games on the road, but it was getting better. You could see that it was starting to click on both ends of the floor. Um, we had in between our game in Connecticut and then the one in Minnesota, we had a really good team talk just to sort of take a step back, um, establish what we're trying to do on both ends of the floor, talk it out, shift our mindset a little bit, and you could see that shift in the game against Minnesota. And so we're just we're, we're continuing to improve, we're continuing to get to know each other out there, and it takes time, it takes those experiences, and so hopefully we can continue to learn each other without having to lose. What's your confidence like now as a starter over the past few games? Um, I mean, I, I try to approach every day, whether it's game day or practice day, is the same. Um, you know, try to compete and be consistent. Uh, still so many things to improve on. I think for me, um, you know, being out there, it, you sort of forget what it's like, um, especially, you know, coming from overseas, you, I had a couple weeks off, and so getting back into the rhythm of, um, it's not it's not a workout on your own, it's a real game, and so getting to that, that explosive step quicker, um, making sure that the release is quicker, so all these little things that you don't really think about that you can only do in the game. Uh, but I feel good out there. I'm thankful for the opportunity. And, um, you know, it's it's sort of easy for me because I'm surrounded by really, really good players. And so I just got to knock down open shots. And so, um, and then make sure my person stays in front of me when I'm on defense. <laughs> um, and so I'm, I'm learning. And so it's nice to be able to learn out there and I'm grateful to be out there. And just to continue that, how do you feel about your role on the team going forward as you know people come back from injuries mm -hmm. and things like that yeah i mean just continue to work continue to learn um everyone is learning their roles on this team and you embrace it whatever it takes to win and our goal ultimately as a, as a group is to win a championship and that happens each and every day and so uh, no matter what the adjustment is i'm going to embrace it um, continue to improve and um, become more comfortable within our system and with, with everybody around me but it's not about me it's about this group so however he sees me fitting into that i'll, I'll play into it as best as i can my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> after, the game. after after the game, um, my mom texted me and she's like, Chelsea equals clutch. And I was like, yep. And then a couple of my friends said, man, Chelsea's like Kobe. Um, so yeah, like I said, I mean, she's, she's amazing. Um, and she does it time and time again. She has ice in her veins. Uh, she, she works for moments like that. And, uh, we feed off of that. It brings so much energy. And so it's amazing to see how that ball goes in and how she wills it in. And uh, her competitiveness is one of a million. Yeah. And so um, it's amazing to be with her. On, I would hate to be against <laughs> that, that type of player. Uh, but obviously, throughout the league, there's players like that. But Chelsea is definitely one of them. She's considered one of the greatest. Time for one more. So, I can I ask, so yes, the ratings were up a lot for the Minnesota game. Have you, heard, you heard that? Or what was it? 200%, 200%? from last year's wow. third telecast. What do, you, what do you make of that? That's amazing. I mean, I think people are starting to recognize um, what we're capable of and what, what product we're putting on the floor. And so it's just continuing to get better. It's continuing to get uh, publicity and people are starting to pay attention. And so it's cool to see um, different media outlets who are covering solely women's athletics, women's basketball, and making it special because it's always been, but now people are recognizing it. And so we're going to continue to do our jobs um, and we do it. Uh, we're going to do it for the right reasons. And if people want to join us, that's on them. Thank you. Go Sparks. Thanks.